Hello, good afternoon, good morning, welcome, I'm Nero, of course. I had a brilliant idea, and I'm saying it now. Wait, no, hold on, uh, yeah, you know what, we're gonna fix this live while I'm talking, um, because obviously the, uh, exposure needs to go up a little bit. Yeah, there we go, a little brighter. Not that bright, that bright, that's okay, that's okay. Apply, okay, yes, that's better. <clears throat> you can see me now. Can you see me? Can I see me? Yes, I can see me. It's fine. Okay, so brilliant idea. Um, and I need to say it so I will remember it later. Again, this is not the best intro. That's fine. I'm just glad you're here. Okay, let's take a breath. <sighs> okay. So I had this idea. Um, and it's probably something many other content creators have already done, are already doing, are doing more and better and it, with more coherence than I am. That's fine. I'm still doing it. Uh, when I upload videos, lately what I've been doing is I just upload it Sunday night uh, when I decide to upload, uh, and I just upload the one, and that's fine. I'm done. Yeah, I'll deal with the, one, the next one next week. But there's an option to have a delayed release for the videos. There's an option to just, like, say, no, don't release it now. Release it at such and such date, at such and such time. Why haven't I been doing that this entire time? <clears throat> Why have I been like, no, no, I want to do this in the most difficult way possible? Um, yeah, so we're going to be trying that, uh, this upcoming upload, which is going to be next week, which is going to be in the past by the time this is uploaded. By the time this is uploaded, I will have already uploaded it, but I have not uploaded it yet, but it will have already been uploaded by the time I'm referencing this. Time! Anyway, we're playing Fable. Uh, this is chapter 9? Nine? 9. Let's go with 9, because last one was chapter 8, because the last one I uploaded was 7. I was very clever about that, and so the last one was 8, it's recorded with date timestamps. It's fine. I will know what it is. This is chapter nine. We have not left. We are still in Witchwood. We are still in Not Whole Glade. We have not done the arena yet. All that fun stuff. Um, I haven't looked up anything, but I know pretty soon here I'm gonna need to, because uh, there are missables and I hate missables. I hate not being able to go back for things if I forget them later. Make it hard for me, sure. Don't make me replay the entire game for that one 10 second fight that I wasn't really even paying attention to and didn't fish in the right spot. I know that's one of them. But we haven't gotten there, that's okay. Anyway, I have a little bit more manic energy. I had coffee this morning, I think it's just now starting to, starting to finally kick in, uh, but that's okay. Um, Anyway, you're going to have ideas when you're doing stuff, too. That's great. Uh, make sure to either write them down or have some sort of record of them. Tell it to somebody and be like, hey, remind me of this thing. Better yet, message it to somebody. That way you have it written down. And also a backup reminder from somebody you care about, somebody who's invested in your well-being. Okay, sorry. I got a little manic there, a little frantic. Uh, I just... It just finally clicked in my head why that button was there, and I'm like, oh, I should do that. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, I also think later this week uh, I'm going to start doing... I'm going to try doing a Twitch stream. I don't think anybody's going to watch. I don't... I don't care, necessarily. It'll be live. I need... The reason I've held back so far is because that... Most of the time when I'm doing a Twitch stream, or most of the time when you're doing a Twitch stream, you, you kind of have to have two screens. You have to have, be able to see chat, and then you have to be able to see the actual game you're playing. Um, and especially if you're recording, you kind of want that other window so that you can see how your recording's going and all that. My box would, my, my computer would melt into a pile of slag. It, it already overheats when I'm trying to run more than one window at a time. Like, it's it's struggling with Fable and recording Fable while we're doing Fable. That's okay. Uh, but there are several games that I've been wanting to do, and they don't require the chapter format that Fable has. Um, 
because I want I want this to be a story that we go through together. I want these games that we play um, or these things that we do. I want them to be stories that we go through together. That's kind of the goal. The goal was to to tell stories and to enjoy stories and to conquer these stories together and I want to keep doing that so I'm gonna keep the hour-long format for some of these videos but we're also gonna see about doing some maybe some shorter videos some maybe like 15 or 30 minute videos just something quick you can pop on be like mm, I'm gonna watch this uh, maybe while I'm folding laundry or maybe after I folded laundry and I need a break between doing this and dishes, I don't know why. I'm referencing chores that I need to do today, but that's okay. It's okay. Okay. A lot of manic energy right now. It's been about six minutes. I just... Whew. Going from very sleepy and tired to high caffeine sugar energy is, uh, yeah, it's, it's an escalation. So, we're going to get back into Fable. We are still in not whole glade uh so that's gonna be fun and yeah crack boom of thunder um we haven't killed anyone in a while um not whole glade is a little bit of a different town because there's lots of guards and there's lots of uh lots of people who would be more than happy, willing, and able of, to kill us. Yes, it's just the word liberator, lady. It's fine. I can't expect everyone to have the high-quality education I got at the guild, you know, after I was abducted. Um, and then had my family home just robbed from me. Um... I don't feel like leveling a town yet. Oh, man. What do we want to do? What? There's a lot of stuff to do. There's so many things. Um, oh, let's, let's just use the portal here. Then we don't have to do that. So, I want to open that door. I really want to open that door. The uh, Colossus is back here. You remember the door? The door in not Darkwood, but or was it Darkwood? It might be Darkwood. Ah, uh, Greatwood. That's the one. Great wood coal escape. There we go. Teleport. Because, see, the problem is with uh, all of these, uh, the, the combat multiplier just dissipates so quickly. You, you have to get it really high. If I remember, it's like 20 or 25 that you have to get your... Uh, um, oh, that's a, that's a merchant. My bad. That was my bad. You have to get your... Uh, this demon door. This demon door. I'm... Manic, it's fine. Uh... You have to get your uh, combat multiplier. Oh, that's a troll. Let's uh, do it that real quick without dying. Okay, he's dead. Because he's like, you need to get your combat. To see yeah, combat. it's something like 20 or 25. It's it's a really stupid large number, and it's hard to get that. The last way I got that was I went through the, the Hobbs Cave um, and just went back and forth in there for a while. When I say the last time, it's the last time I played this game, which has been ages. Um, but I remember one of the first times I did it. 
I just went back and forth through the gray house because uh, the undead are slower and also uh, beefier. Like, they, they take more hits to die. Which, which is what you want. It's what you want when you're trying to get your combat multiplier even higher. You want the nice, big, beefy skeletons. I'm not obese. I just ate a lot of meat before opening a door. It's fine. This is fine. Also, they don't have ranged fighters. If, if I remember right. They are not big on ranged combat. Um... So there might be some sort of spellcaster. I'm not I'm not ruling out the possibility of one of them shooting me, but uh Combat multiplier is also how you get lots of levels and experience with stuff. Watched a bunch of experience go down there, that's fine. Okay. Let's see, the problem is is the time it takes you to teleport also robs you of combat multiplier. Yeah, so you have to do you have to do this back and forth and unfortunately slowing time doesn't apply to you. Yeah, your combat multiplier still goes down. And going back and forth from zone to zone takes like five levels. Yeah, it's it's brutal. I think it like cuts it in half or something. See, that one was, was harsh because uh, in the process of going through this, I had to backtrack. And backtracking is detrimental to uh, our combat multiplier. Those are rookie numbers, son. You gotta get those numbers up. I have started recording, right? Gosh, I hope so. We'll check that later. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I wouldn't be so dumb as to, you know, start recording without actually starting recording. I really ought to save. That would be a good idea. going up, you do actually have to do damage. Any kind of damage. Alright, we're gonna try teleporting. Can we teleport before we do the thing? Still gonna lose quite a few levels. Hmm, I don't know. It's gonna be tr tricky. It's tricky to rock around. It's right on time. He does not like me. And I can't blame him. I am kind of shooting him in the junk with a bow and arrow. I did it! It was only 15? Wow. Oh, quick. While well, we're still... No, you know what? We can get higher. We were at 20 there for a while. All right. Hey, look, a treasure chest. The butterfly house. Is it a butterfly sword? No, it would be a butterfly knife. A butterfly sword would be terrifying. <gasps> the cutlass blue team. I remember that. Cutlasses were the weapon of choice for the old shipmasters around Hook Coast. Blue Tang was part of a legendary treasure and was never used in combat. Its hunger for blood is palpable. It's got lightning. Hmm. Neat. Actually, that might be better than what we're using, which is impressive considering we're using a master sword. What is this, Zelda? Using a master sword? Okay, master long sword, yeah, it does 135. Cutlass blue taint does 165. 
Sentinus does a lot. It's fine. It's fine. I still want the Bow of Scorn. That's what I need to do. I need to, uh... I need to convince somebody really good. Oh, that's... move on. Uh, oh, there's another demon door like right over here, isn't there? It's like just in here. Maybe? No. You know, I wasn't going to bother with you, but you, you inconvenienced me. How dare you? Doing this whole inconvenience thing. You have reached famous. I'm famous. I haven't even been to the arena yet. And now, because of your hubris, because of your ego, now every one of you has to die. Especially the ones wielding ranged weapons. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I know. My anger is legendary. Well, maybe not legendary, but famous. My anger is famous. I am famous for anger. <clears throat> How about I just shoot you? And I just shoot you. Just shoot you. Man, there's a lot of bandits out anymore. Which is weird, considering I decimated their entire organization and uh, defeated their leader in ritual combat. You'd think there would be fewer bandits, but apparently not. Beware, traveler. I block the way to all but the most combat hardened. Oh, my combat is so hard. If you request, my guardians will test your metal in combat. I'm not sure Blue Tan is made of metal, but okay. Meet their challenge, and the reward I hide is yours. Is that a pun? Yeah, sure. I see you are ready for your test. Very well. Very well. Okay. Guardians, attack! Guardians are Hobbs. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know, bud. You should get better Guardians. Like, they're, they're... And I know, you're gonna think, you can't afford better Guardians. You, you're gonna tell yourself that, no, the quality of Guardians I get is limited by my funds. No, surprisingly, uh, most mercenaries are surprisingly affordable and they work on a, a sliding pay scale um so yeah even you uh a demon door you could probably talk to one of these traders and have them deliver letters for you because apparently people just do that uh i got a letter from my blind sister handwritten it's crazy legible but uh let's, let's maybe actually target no nope, not the trade not the trader the the goblin, the, the thing right there. You defeated my guardians. I am knackered. Go on, get yourself through. I'd love to. But yeah, people in this in this world will just deliver letters for you, complete strangers. They will know everything about, if, especially traders. They will know everything about you and your family, and your 
familial relationships. Like, it's crazy how much they know. It's worrisome. Will it use your dark boots? I think I already have those. Dark gloves, dark upper robe, dark lower robe. I just need the hat. Okay. When one door opens, another door opens, and there's just doors all the way through. Ah, you... That seems a little unfair. It's as if you guys were waiting for me. Like you knew I was going to be coming out. Oh, are you the are you the door's new guardians? He took my advice. Good on him. Now what? Um, I don't know. Let's, let's pop back to the hero skill. Anytime, if you don't know what to do, pop back to the hero skill. They'll probably tell you. But the guild master doesn't talk to me every five seconds, so it's okay. Take the arena quest card. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Right to the point. I like that. Do I want to save the kid in the hob cave? Yeah. I guess let's go save the kid. Kids are dumb. I don't mean that in like a deprecating way. Kids are dumb. That's why we teach them. When I was a kid, I was dumb. I'm still dumb. But when I was a kid, I was also dumb. Kill the inhabitants of the cave. Sacrifice the innocent. Do not allow the boy to be harmed. Yeah, right. Kill the inhabitants of the cave. Yeah, we're not doing this naked. We're not doing this naked, and it's weird that you all want to see that. Okay, so we have to go to Rose Cottage first. And be like, hey, what's up? Where's your grandson? She'll be like, I don't know. Hmm. There's no enemies. Quick question, have I lost weight? It's a weird thing to be obsessed with, but... I'm still obese. I wonder if I just slept for a couple days, if that would take care of it. I might have to look that up. Speak to the grandmother. All right. Working on it. Wait, Demon Door, what do you want? I never open, and if I could only let some items, gifts, wedding ring, use. Oh, you really know how to treat a door. I will always be open to you. All right. You've made me so happy. I can feel pebbles welling up in my eyes. I don't know what that means. Like, are you... The doors are surprisingly self-aware. Like, they know they're made of stone. It's just... It's just weird. The secret haven. There's a treasure chest. users bright gloves oh all the bright will use your stuff I am not that bright I barely use will but we're friends enough that I can call it will it's will yum to everyone else I have a shovel now 
I bet there's something in this circle. It just seems likely. Hey, a silver key. Seems like there should be something in that circle as well, but fine, fine. James, is that you? James? Oh, James is my grandson. I bet you he is. to find him. Where was he? He's the only relative I have left. Did you kill the rest? Such a sweet, helpful boy. I don't know how I'd manage without him. Miss, are you I okay? Are you having a stroke? Happened. He's gone back to those caves. Can I you smile know. for me? He got quite a scare. The Lift your arms, like hold them time. straight in front of you. you. But he did bring back some gold. Oh, and he found something else while he was there. I don't know what it's for, but it might be useful. Here. Hmm. A hexagon key. Please find him. I don't know what I would do if anything happened to him. Probably die. All right. Off we go on another adventure. I mean, that's kind of the risk you, you run when you live directly next to, or at least very, very, in very close proximity to a cave of, like, overwhelming evil. Like, if, if you don't want that to happen, don't. Don't live next to the evil cave. Arguably, they were probably here first. I'm trapped in here! Searching the caves for treasure. Legends say it's full of their stuff. Well protected, too. They caught us and stuck us in cages. Been taking us away one by one ever since. Mm. I don't know what they did to the rest, but I heard screams that it chilled your blood. What do you mean you don't know what they did to the rest? Hey, Their skeletons are right there. Take a share, right? <laughs> so, what do you say we go looking together? No. Stop! Ow! Stop it! What is your problem? Ow! What the hell are you playing at? There, another skeleton. I mean, he was a bandit. I could tell because of the way he was dressed. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> My mom was never a hack and slasher, but man, could she rave some rabbits. And she will whoop you at uh, Wee Bowling. Oh, this is. this could be bad. Oh, it wasn't that. It's fine. <sighs> now, one thing I do miss about some other games that this lacks is... Uh, I would really like a way to speed up how my... how quickly my mana naturally replenishes. That just seems like a thing. Yeah, I don't think there's much mystery of what he was doing, what they were doing with his friends. Putting them in bags, as it turns out. Can I 
I just use it? Focus. No, I can't just use it. I have to actually go into my inventory. Nope, that's not the right button. There's the right button. I swear I know what I'm doing. Also, we're gonna assign that to that. And we're also gonna, no, that's not what I'm gonna do. I got it out of ages, not there, that one, that one, that's the one. I found the thing, I pushed the button. I move on. Boy, I'm sure glad these guys don't just keep spawning. That would be really inconvenient. Ow. Ow. Stop that. I did not appreciate that at all. Oh, right, I was going to go try to get the bow. I vaguely remember how to do that. I basically have to get the paladin to uh, be your follower and then uh, sacrifice him at midnight, something like that. Yeah. You have to hire the paladin as a bodyguard and then uh, take him to the temple, score him at midnight, and be like, hey, got your new sacrifice. Did I open the right door? Moonlit tunnel. All right. How is it? How is it? Why is there moonlight in this completely enclosed cave? This bothers me. Oh, well, that's fine. Just some terrain. All right, we're fine. What do you want? You wish to take the child? I will not give him up. The sacrifice must proceed. Must it? Provide an alternative human, and I may release him. Uh, how about I just kill you? Yeah, apparently just killing you works. I'm trying to save your life. The whining is definitely not helping me. I'll let you know right now. Also, you have a really whiny voice. I just thought you should know. That's why nobody likes you. That's why they're trying to sacrifice you to the powers of evil. Yeah, 
Maybe if you weren't, uh, if you weren't so whiny, you wouldn't keep having pixies try to sacrifice you to the powers of evil. Just saying. Just say something to think about. Hey, Silver Key. All right. Good? Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Did you say that thing? That is not your voice. That is not nearly whiny enough. Yeah, see, that's your voice. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's fine. I'll heal you in a second, kid. See, you're fine. And now we switch back to being able to manipulate the fabric of space time. Come on. I never wanted to come here in the first place. What? Ha! All right. Well, that was interesting. We have to get out of this place. I'm working on it. It's the last time I let her out of the There's a lot of these guys. They just keep showing up. There's just so many. Stop it! Ooh, quick, well I have 20. Um, it's potions. So, the amount of experience you get increases when you have a higher multiplier. Most of you probably already know that, or have figured it out. But, what that means is when you have a high multiplier, you use these potions that give you free experience, and uh, then you just get lots of experience right away. I've seen some people have, like, 50 combat multiplier to get the most out of these, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a decent number. Oh, just crying out loud! Just stop! Just stop it! Stop existing! Oh, 
kid, are you spawning these? Because that's what it seems like. Yeah, see, they, they keep appearing where you are. Every, every five steps. We take five steps, and suddenly... Oh, this kid. I'd never breathe fresh air again. Yeah, I also thought you'd never breathe fresh air again. I wonder what the ritual would have done. It's j Oh well, it's fine. Wait, you're not gonna leave me with her, are you? You think the nymph was bad. My nymph. granny is worse. Okay. Whose idea did you think it was to go into those caves in the first place? Well, I'm not standing for it much longer. First chance I'll get, I'm out of here. I'll have to pick up a few things first, though. And I suppose you want your reward. Don't yes. tell her what I said, though. Come on. I mean, it seems better than... We made it. Go and see if Granny's there. She is. Do you want her to not be? I can handle this for you, kid. you for returning my grandson hero James come here and give your granny a hug hey what's going on I demand you stop right now I have so how are you why are you running away James come here and give your granny a hug You'd make a woman happy. Whoa, that's a way different voice than you had ten seconds ago. Oh. Rummaging through your personal effects. Liberator. Am I saying it right? I bet I can't own your cottage. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, right. I need to double check. I am recording. Good. I was going to be really embarrassed. Uh... Heroes Guild? Yeah. We just got a bunch of experience. That's why we're going to Heroes Guild. Gah. Look at me. I am tutorializing, and it's just throwing me off. Tons of experience. Look at all that experience! Oh my goodness! Uh, let's increase our health. We need to do that. Yeah, that's that's a reasonably high priority. And our toughness. Is seven the max? I think seven might be the max. Nope. Yes. I want all that experience back. Hmm. I got the need. The need for speed. Okay. We're leveling up a bunch of stuff. Because we need to. Slow time, max. Magic power. Yeah. I'm always running out of magic power. Yeah, right. Is it going all right? Do 
What do you have for sale? Don't look like I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. I certainly hope so. You killed the legendary white Valkyrie. The arena is the place for you. Apparently I'm supposed to go to the arena. I'm not ready to do that. Scorm, that's what we're doing. Where do I find the paladin? I want to say he's in Oakvale. Or is he at the temple? He might be at the temple of Avo. He might be. That would make sense. Thanks a lot here. So Scorm's bow is one of the more powerful bows in the game. And uh Mind your back. Need a good sword to fight beside you. Power. Good day, hero! If you need someone to fight evil by your side, I'm your man. Yes. Excellent. It's an honor to fight beside such a fearless hero. Apparently, I'm terrifying. Let's go to Knothole Glade and then walk through the lake. Yeah, that seems like the best way to do this. This is going to be a whole lot of hurry up and wait, I think. I don't know if it's the same one or what. Anyway, so I'm about to do something horrendously evil uh, for the purpose of a decent piece of equipment. I'm the good guy. No, no. No, really. I'm the good guy. No enemies so far. Very good people following me. I'll try the sword again. No, I don't think so. Liberator. Only someone with a giant's yeah, power can lift that weapon. So, have you heard the legend of this yes. knight of the old kingdom called Hugh wielded a sword like no other? Roy, wait your turn. It was a giant. Lead the way. Who, who do I talk to to try to pull this sword out? Okay, there we go. I don't. I think I have to have go maxed on. out. You can do it. Strength. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh no, that's a shit. You don't look strong enough to me. Better luck next time. That's okay. I'll get there. Great wood close gate. It's the dark wood camp. Oh no, have I not? Did I not use it? Oh, that's unfortunate.
Well, now I just feel silly. Okay, so we're gonna go back through. Yeah. We're gonna go backwards through dark wood so we can get to the camp. I really want these guys to live. Until we get there, of course. You see something. Nope. No! That's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, man. How far back was this? Oh. What time is it? What time is it right now? 11.33. Okay. So if I load this... Yes. And then I'm going to say Did you know I was once asked to you Yeah. Okay, so that was embarrassing. No, I don't think so. You see something. There we go. That's what was supposed to happen. They're both fine. They're both fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Ancient Coles Gate. Defend yourselves! How about I defend you? Defend your face! Nope. Apparently I'm going to not hit anyone or anything for a while. It's fine. This is an ancient cool escape. Oh, that's a troll. Freaking trolls, man. What is this? Reddit? 4chan? Dude, dodge! Fine, everybody's fine. Okay. I should not be having to defend my bodyguards. It just seems wrong. You make a fine leader. I'm glad you think so. I hope you continue to feel that way here in about uh, an hour. An hour of game time. For us, it's going to be like two and a half minutes.
I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is how it's done. And now we wait. Does it uh, tell us what time of day it is? Log book. Maybe? On order. Interaction. I don't think that's... Does it tell us what time it is? I just, I just want to know, I just want to know what time it is. What time is it? I guess we'll just guess. We'll guess. Because there doesn't seem to be an in-game indication other than that little tiny thing at the top right. You see it? We'll do no good standing here. Oh, we'll yes. do Let's go. plenty of good standing here. You just need to be patient. Just a little further. Just a little further. Have you heard about the time I wiped out an entire encampment of bandits? That was you! Right about... We'll fight no evil standing around. Nah. Good. A fresh donation. Let me choose one of these fine specimens as a gift to my master. Yeah. The die is cast. The means of sacrifice has been determined. What is this? Uh, yes. Harvester? For this one, I think. The rope engine. This is gonna get gruesome. Fortunately, it's just more audible than anything, so if you just cover your ears for a couple seconds, starting now. desire for my evil influence and good. is gratifying. You will go far. I got it! First try! Fabled weapon of, oh, of the Overberg. This longboat carries dark and terrible secrets that seem to propel arrows with a unique power. Lot more damage. Lightning and sharpening. Yeah. Equip that. And we're good. We can now leave. It's fine. Must have been an animal. Must have been. Yep, sure was. We can go to the Temple of Avo, and then we're going to teleport from there because I want to be able to fast travel to the Temple of Avo. Because I really want that sword. That sword looks awesome. But now that we are completely evil, we have no reason to be completely evil anymore. We just we had to do that for the bow. It's fine. It's fine. I'm allowed to do this. I'm a hero. Yeah. Very well. May we meet again. Or not. That henchman must be a hero, because he has a guild seal allowing him to teleport. can't quite get it. All right. What are we looking at time-wise? Oh, this is going to have to be it. This is going to have to be it, folks. So, we now have one of the coolest bows I've ever seen. Um, we also have an awesome sword that I have seen, but we don't have the awesome sword we want yet. But that's okay. We've done a lot. We made good time. We only had to sacrifice one innocent soul to the powers of evil. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. 
And look, I saved. I saved. I did that thing that I always try to remind myself to remember. Okay. Yeah, this has been an adventure. Um, we haven't made any linear progress. Like we haven't made an act any actual progression, but that's okay. We did a lot of other things that need to be taken care of. And yeah, we're still having fun. This is still a great story, and I'm glad to be going through it with you. What's coming up? Um, I actually am going to have my knee that is injured and has been since Thanksgiving. I'm going to have that looked at on Wednesday. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some answers, get some course of treatment, because it's getting close to the time when I need to start doing stuff outside in, in real life. Like, real life stuff! Uh, I do a lot of gardening, and I'm wanting to do some time-lapse stuff of me getting the garden ready, getting stuff put in place, and uh, the, the fun stuff I do with that. Um, again, I'm not necessarily a professional. I just, I have some basic ideas of what I'm doing, and so I'm going to do those, and love to have you joining me for those as well. Uh, also, I would like this week to... Um, regain my train of thought. Give me a second. It's there. I'll find it. Branding. That's right. Um, I want to work on logo stuff. I want to make myself kind of pop out, stand out. Um, I'm going to go with my usual motif. Uh, one of my, my standard motif is, uh, black as the, as the primary color. Um, and then the secondary color being uh, crimson or maroon, depending on your color palette. Um, and then white and gold accents with uh, a kind of gray-silver as a secondary accent if needed. Um, so that's my, that's my palette that I'm going to be working with. Uh, and then the, the theming is, uh, is of course, my my screen name persona, Nero Lazarus. Um, I don't know that I've gotten into what all that represents, but a lot of it is uh, this idea of of conquering, of of uh, being victorious. Maybe at the detriment of some other things, but conquering, and then. Uh, that is, of course, aspiring to Nero, which also is, uh, I forget which language, but it, is, it also represents the term black, uh, which I like the, I like, I like darkness, I like shadowy, kind of morbid, uh, themes, um, and paired with that, of course, uh, Lazarus and the, uh, the theme of Lazarian, uh, topics, uh, revival from the dead and coming back from from dead and that's what a lot of this is representing for me is feeling kind of dead about doing things and it's been a struggle getting started and I decided to just do it to just start doing it and so when my friends ask me kind of you know well, what's what sets yours apart from everyone else's the thing that sets mine apart is that it's mine it's me doing this so that's where we're at and we're gonna keep working on this I I might even do an actual like video stream of me tinkering around with some of these ideas of like old tombs and Greek busts and uh, high technological equipment jolting it reviving energy into this 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 dead thing um finding your energy is important and you can have different themes and different sources for that but uh yeah i i want to get a logo i want to get a banner i want to get something that i can slap on the the front of videos and maybe do some actual like artistic design with it i got work to do um and I'm trying to view this as not just work, but a, a fun hobby that I enjoy. And so we're, we're going to keep working on that, too. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I 
I really am enjoying going on this journey with you and having this fun adventure with you and I look forward to going through more of it with you in the near future so until next time farewell <laughs>